Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are dealing with the Dorseys. And I just saw this sign. It's pretty cool. Peak solves conflict through negotiation. Hope shoots first and keeps shooting. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, so we have some survivors up here, it seems. So let's go and check them out. Isaac Reed. The clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. I'm Isaac Reed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I, I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I, I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. Wait a minute, you kids were helping the Dorseys. Just tell us how those people wound up dead. You piece of shit, you helped them kill Lucia's family and you want our forgiveness? Wait a minute, you kids were helping the Dorseys? We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Mm. It was Melius Dorsey. He but went dead. looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. That kid is nuts. Mm, where's Nelia's Dorsey now? He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. They're gonna hunt him down. Um... Uh... Where the Dorsey's acting alone. Baron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Nelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. Mm-hmm. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorsey's. Why did you do it, Isaac? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Her voice shakes, but her hand does not. You didn't even see her draw her gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Kill him, Lucia. Go for it, kid. He's garbage. Please, Lucia. I love you. And then her hand does shake violently. She pulls the trigger anyway. Bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples, blood spilling from his lips and a slowly spreading pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head up to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It's going to take him, take him a long time to die. There's a job, kid. You wanted to take a life? Take it. Kill Isaac for her. Let it bleed to death. He doesn't discern any better. Kill Isaac for her. 
jerks spasmodically as you deliver the killing blow. From this angle, he looks like any mother's son, a lost little boy. One with his brains hanging out the back of his skull. She turns away and stifles a noise. You can't tell if it's nausea or a sob. Isaac breathes his last. Psychos! You killed Isaac! You kill us all! Well, we might. Okay, combat. Fine. We'll kill you. Jesus, there are a lot of them though. Shoot, he saw us. Okay. Mm, let's. Let's move up here. Can you, can you please move up here? Thank you. And you're puncturing shot. Oh, we didn't hit him. Out of ammo. Damn it. Okay. Winter rifle it is, I guess. Uh, Prof Higgs. Let's take you down. Let's take you down. Let's see ya. Let's take you down. And... Hmm. There's a 70 percent chance. Alright, should we hit him? Nice. Then... Hawk. Can you get up here and attack? Can. Okay. Are there more? Oh yeah, there are two more. Okay. Uh, let's move back here. Action points. We have you left though. Okay, that's combat done. We have a couple of level ups, three level ups. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. We took care of the Dorseys. There are no survivors. We killed every last Dorsey rat and the hundred families killed kids helping them. Hmm. I think we're gonna be honest. Roger that, November 1. Maybe let's not talk too loudly about this killing hundred families kids business. Over and out. Okay. Let's search him. Brass knuckles and some money. A lot of money. And a whole handkerchief and some playing cards. A hunting knife and some money. A hunting knife and some money. A semi auto pistol, ammo and some money. Same. Same. Brass knuckles and money. Okay, that was some nice stuff. Okay. Let's take a look at this large container. Flammenwerfer. Flamethrower, okay. Uh, cylinder choke, weapon mod. Okay. Hydro skin panels for the legs. Scrap. Okay. Do everything. Then we have. Uh, this camp is only a few days old. Looks like the Dorseys gathered here before their attack on the city, okay. Let's take a look at the medical crate. 
Suture Kit and Med Hypo. Seems like that's all that's here. Alright. Let's move out. I suppose we should do our level ups. So, Sano has a level up, Marshall Kwan has a level up, and Lucia has a level up. Let's do it. Uh, skills. What, what do you have on? Uh, experience bonus plus 5%, okay. Uh, skills. Lock picking. Weapon modding. I think we'll do one in lock picking and one in weapon modding. Or actually, uh, undo changes. We'll do one in lock picking and one in barter. Yeah. And then attributes. Uh, I want more intelligence. To get more uh, skill points. Well, I didn't want to close because we have others who have leveled up. Okay. You, Marshal Kwan. Do you have anything on that? No. Okay, so... Okay, kiss ass might be nice. Sneaky shit. Perception goes up one. Hmm. Disarm alarms. Difficulty four or less. I think I'll take kiss ass and save the other point. And he isn't the brightest. Coordination, awareness, and speed. Let's get his speed up. Ah. Then Lucia. She's quite clever. And if we give her one more in intelligence, she will get an extra skill point every turn, so let's do that. Or every level up. And she has four skill points. Hmm. So let's upgrade small arms and barter. Confirm. And let's head out of here. Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to travel to downtown Colorado Springs. Before being reduced to ruins in the war, the Academy in Colorado Springs trained officer cadets for the United States Air Force. Okay. So yeah, while we're loading here, if you're enjoying the series, enjoying the videos, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I do appreciate a lot. And if you are not enjoying them, by all means, hit the dislike. If you're new to the channel, why not also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when videos are coming out. Also, if you have any comments, tips, tricks, anything, questions, then by all means leave a comment. I read all my comments and I reply to most of them. Uh, please no spoilers though, as this is a blind playthrough.
Right, come on, finish loading. You let me shoot him! Never shot anybody before today, and now I've gone and shot my boyfriend. I mean, my ex-boyfriend. Ex in more ways than one, I suppose. Oh, God! Well, you wanted to. And I couldn't even finish him off. I needed your help to do it. Now he's dead, and I'm to blame. You asked for it, Lucia. No, Isaac's to blame. He's the one who chose that path. True, if he hadn't come, he might still be alive. No, Isaac was to blame. Still, I pulled the trigger. The choice was mine. I could have... I could have let him live. Now... Now he's dead. And the only memories I have are of him begging for his life. I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. The people who were really responsible. Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Yes, we'll help you. In return, you follow orders like a ranger. No, we'll help you through the garden. That's as far as it goes. I guess we'll help you. She's pretty damn good. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the Expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not give them. <laughs> For now, we should head back to the Sheriff. Uh, yeah, I suppose we should. Let's go check on Doc first, see if he has moved into the Ranger H HQ. He has. Okay, good. City's really humming again, huh? It's great to see. What's the traveling busker? Listen to the busker song. Step away. No, step away. Um, let's barter with you. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night. Let's trade. There you go, children. Salvation is at hand. All right, we'll sell our junk. That gives us 993. Nice. So I think I want some med hypos. Let's buy like five of those. Mission mm. reach. She doesn't have any of that. Used to remove poison status. That might actually be something we want to have some of. Let's buy. Let's just buy two of those. We have some suture kits. We have some injury kits. Med, medic pack. Let's buy a couple of those. Five. And that's it. Let's head over to this guy over here, Taiwan Jones. Hey, you chums! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store has everything sardine lean. Okay. I'm thinking of buying buying this fireman, fireman bladed weapon because I'd like that on on Hawk.
Let's do it. Uh, we'll sell these. We'll keep that. Uh, we'll sell these, I think. We'll sell three of them, keep one. Uh, we'll keep everything else, I guess. Funny, the one that does the least damage requires higher sniper rifle. So that's a bit weird. We'll keep both of them. I think I am good with this. Does he have energy cells? He does. Uh, we want to buy some energy cells. Uh, let's buy like 30. Okay. Now we did get some armor. Who wants that? Let's give it to you. Mm. Let's give you one of these. We'll give you one of these. We'll give you one of these. Uh, let's see. Can you have a second pistol? You can. Nice. All right. I guess that means that you can have a second pistol as well. Yep. Can I have a second rifle? I can. Huh. Okay. I actually want a blunt weapon for us as, as well. Wasn't that big an upgrade. I thought it was a bigger upgrade. Uh, let's give you the frozen ferret launcher. We don't really have a second weapon for you at the moment. That's fine. Actually, instead of that, I want to give you that. Uh, shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's quickly talk to Taiwan Jones hey, again. Welcome to Taiwan Jones' Emporium. My store, Sardine Lee. Okay, so this is a blunt weapon, it costs 223. We'll buy it and sell those two. We don't have a whole lot of money left, but that's okay. So now. Okay. Ability, reckless attack, more pain, more gain. An indiscriminate attack that does plus 25% damage, but hits everyone nearby, including you. Okay. That doesn't necessarily sound like a good idea. Okay, we'll do that. Let's head to the sheriff. What's... There's a question mark here at the statue, but I can't really do anything. Never mind. 
Is it just me or are the marshals cracking down on folks? Hmm. Marshal, stop Dorsey's at Hickey? Palace Gates. Patriarch alive and safe. All right, let's head back to the sheriff. We want to go in here. Hell yeah! I've always got a smile for the marshals and never piss them. <sighs> I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor, put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, okay. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. No more Dorsey's in my city. And everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you, but I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. Okay. We're all on the same side, right? Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Mm-hmm. Now, before I forget... Let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then. Okay, so we get a Amity got flattened trailer. by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since. But she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Okay. Thanks for the referral. For the referral. And we do need someone for that position. We'll come aboard, Hope. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Apparently they had help from Farron Brago's gang. Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Farron Brago's gang who let them in. Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble. So him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Okay. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there... Well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Okay. We're on it. Take down Braga for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. That sounds great. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep them safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. Okay. Cool, and we got some armor. So, plus four armor, plus three armor, plus three percent evasion. Critical chance, plus two percent armor, plus three. What did you have on? Plus four armor. Oh, that requires three strength. Which I don't think she has. So let's give her these things and then I suppose we'll give you that. You don't have three strength? You sure don't you have one. Okay. Do, does anyone have three strengths? Strength. Uh, attributes. I mean, you have, you have enough strength. So why don't you put that on? I'll grab the pants. And then we have one more armor piece there. 
and you have a level up. So let's take a look at that. Attributes. You're going to get one more intelligence to get um, that extra skill point every time. That means you have four skill points to use. Hmm. Healing item effectiveness plus 50%. Okay. New per blood sport. What's blood sport? It's like T ball but with more skull fragments. Okay. I think we will give you melee combat six and save up that skill point. Okay. So I think we should head to Ranger HQ and get everyone healed up by Doc. And also see what the kid is doing. Uh, what was his name? Austin Peace or something? And then we'll head over and deal with the, um, the new mission that we have. Uh, the big troubles in Little Vegas. We need to complete this mission anyway, so we have now a doctor and we have a brick jailer and then we have that kid, whatever he does. We need a garage mechanic and an armory quartermaster, which if we do this thing, uh, we get the armory officer so that's kind of nice so we'll do that but it'll be next time because we are out of time so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time